Schluter shower niches actually began by adding the boards to the wall in this shower and making rough cuts to cut out the section where the framing was for the niche. I did the exact same thing for this board that I added to the left and I used my level to mark the horizontal and the vertical lines where I was just cutting out the board with a simple utility knife. From there I dry fit the prefab niche, made sure it was centered on my wall. This is really important for the tile work. Then I marked the outline of the niche using my sharpie marker and cut out that section using an oscillating multi-tool. I fit the niche in that recess and I added a screw and a washer every 12 inches on the center of the framing. And then from there I used Schluter all set on the vertical seams followed by my curdy band, then all set on the horizontal seams followed by the curdy band. You just want two inches of overlap. This entire lesson is now available in our beginner curb shower waterproofing course. Go to module four and scroll down to lesson number nine. If you're interested in building a curb shower and need help, visit homerepairtutor.com.